So yes, those are the four singing instruments. Now, I'm actually one of the band instruments called Nailon that is like these two, but has a different harmonic series. In fact, here's what a B flat soprano would look like. Yeah, so the very left, that's a soprano saxophone. Then the center is a B flat clarinet. This is a B flat Nailon. Now, notice how it looks like the clarinet, but it's brown and. Look close at the bell, it's smaller than the clarinet one. The mouthpiece is slightly bigger than on the clarinet as well. Here, I'll give you a closer look. Now as close as you can see that on the clarinet. Both of all, notice another thing, that both the mouthpiece end and the bell end are the same size. That's what clarinets are, they're cylinders. Over here, this nail right here is actually, the mouthpiece end is actually bigger than the bell end. I'm not sure you can see it, but I can. And look how small the bell is on the brown one compared to the black one. And yet the mouthpiece, that is slightly bigger than that. And now let's see more members. Okay, these are B-flat Pro instruments. Now if I were to do this... Um, you notice we have three more instruments appearing. So you have a tenor saxophone, bass clarinet, and look, a bass nail in there, which it's actually octave lower than tenor saxophone, the same way it has a B flat nail as octave lower than a soprano saxophone, which means that B flat nails are the same pitch as tenor saxophones. And yes, they're all keys because adding keys is a lot of work, and I try to measure tone holes and it just doesn't work because the pads get in the way. So now you can see more members than just the six here. Check that out. Now you have a bass saxophone, country bass clarinet, and country bass nail in it. Now, this country bass nail is actually the lowest pitch instrument here. It's not the lowest the bass saxophone, and yeah, it actually has a country bass voice, unlike that clarinet that only has a sub bass voice. So now, you can see the E flat instruments later. Next, we have an E flat baritone saxophone, E flat country alto clarinet, and E flat country alto nail in They're like the bass and country bass versions, but they're a little smaller, like three fourths of size. So now, you can see what the octave high versions look like. There you go. See, the octave high version is alto saxophone, alto clarinet, and alto nail in the. Now, the alto nail is actually the same pitch as a baritone saxophone, yet you can see it's a lot smaller. And now, one octave higher than those three, and you get actually this. So we have a soprano saxophone, E flat clarinet, E flat nail in the, which is the same piece as an alto saxophone. And now you can see all six of them together. And now you have all six of these instruments, sorry, 18, six for each family. So you have from bass to soprano saxophone, contra bass to E flat clarinet, and contra bass to E flat nail in there. And yeah, you can see how the nails look like clarinets, but they're not the same thing. Because if you look closely, the bells are smaller than on a clarinet, yet the mouthpieces are bigger. And now I'm going to show you what the math is like also. After showing you the stand members of each family, which unlike the rest, these are not the same transition, they're the same pitch. You can see much bigger that size with the nail in the and the clarinet in between. See how small it is? Yeah, it's pretty small. So now you can see the mouthpieces. So now here are the mouthpieces with the lyrics and the reeds. So you can see the ones on the top right is together. And you can see that the other ones are separate. So now, a different view of them. And not the view. So you can see that the nails are the fast one and the size of the skinniest one. And also, the lasers are a slightly different size as well. And then we have the same reeds because they can. Lotions, you see saxophones, at least the ones that are my apartment. This is gold, then they got silver, and then we got copper. And then the mouthpieces by themselves. Now, I'm not sure you can see the different details, so I have to change the color so you can see it. So now, you can see the mouthpieces up close. So, on the sax, remember what I showed you with the ones in my apartment? So, the bottom of the gap is a circle, like round, and it's that's for saxophones. For clarinets, it's square, so it's flat. On the other it would be a hexagon shape instead. That's just so that it can be different from the other two. And now you have the ligatures. So yes, I think he knows one and goes to which one. 
No, it's like no one is bigger than the size of one with a clan between, which you probably knew that. And now, he those 18 instruments again. This is how they are now, and that's what happens if, if you strain all the instruments out. The clans and nails look pretty weird because normally you don't have the metal part straight, but in this case, you do now. Mouthpiece is flowing because the mouthpiece was actually a separate um, part of the instrument. And now you can see all of them, even though it'd be hard to see because of how tall and skinny those big ones are. So yes, the bass saxophone, if you're straight out, it looks just like a giant soprano, but pointier at the tip. Last but not least of my computer recording, we have all 27 singing instruments. Now all these are in the keys of B flat and E flat, nothing else. Like for example, there's no C members or F ones here. So now let's get back to my room.